I'm Tim, and this is a demo of Onnit v2. Uh, Onnit is like ChatGPT desktop, except it supports a bunch of other model providers and also has support for local mode. If you're a programmer, it's also kind of like Cursor Chat, except it's everywhere on computer, not just on your IDE. The source code for Onnit is available, so you can download either a pre-built version from our website at getonnit.ai, or you can head on over to our GitHub, clone the source code, and run it yourself. Okay, let's take a look at v2. So this is a fresh build of Onnit, and the first thing that you're going to notice is this enable auto context tag. This is the main feature we've been working on, so let's click on that and see what it's all about. With auto context, Onnit can load context directly from your computer using Apple screen reader APIs. That's probably going to set off a lot of privacy alarm bells, but bear with me. I'm going to demo the features first, and then I'll talk about our approach to privacy at the end of the video. Keep in mind that our code base is public, and we welcome audits. So let's go ahead and enable this and take a look. Click that. It'll ask me for access to my accessibility features. Do that. It'll open settings, and I'm going to enable this for Onnit. To demo this, I'm going to show how it works in Xcode. There's two different sub-features within auto context. The first one is highlighted text. With highlighted text, you can highlight any text in your computer and auto will automatically pull it in as context. You can then ask questions about whatever you're looking at without having to copy-paste anything. Now let's take a look at the current window shortcut. With the current window tool, Onnit can automatically pull any text from your current application. There's two ways to trigger this. The first is in the context upload menu. Like you could upload a file in V1, there's now this selection for auto context. If you click this, it'll automatically pull text from whatever the current application is. In this case, it's getting my logs from terminal and also the actual code of the file itself. You can also trigger this with a shortcut. In my case, and the default is command shift zero. So if I have on it closed and trigger it with command shift zero, it'll automatically open on it with the context from the current application already loaded in. Again, you can ask questions about what you're currently working on without having to copy paste anything. Now, there's obviously going to be a bunch of privacy concerns with a feature like this, so I wanted to take a second to talk about our implementation. Let's say you're working on something super secret. In my case, it might be my poetry. I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my poems. So I'm working on this poem, and let's say I accidentally trigger on it in remote mode with auto context enabled. You can see here that my poem got pulled into auto context, and I'm using a remote model. In this case, it's O3 from OpenAI. So what does this mean? Did I just accidentally upload my private information? Can Sam Altman read my poem now? The answer is no. There's two points I want to make about this. The first is that nothing gets uploaded unless you hit this submit button. So Sam Altman can't read this poem unless you ask him to. The second is that this context is going directly to the model provider, in this case OpenAI, without going through any third-party intermediaries. There's no on it server that's storing all the context you upload somewhere. So Sam might be able to read your poem, but I can't. Finally, I want to highlight that all these features also work in local mode. So if you're working on something super sensitive, like my poetry, you can always just toggle on it to local mode. In local mode, you can work with LLMs on your private files without anything ever leaving your computer.